thank you very much for joining us today, Arla. My pleasure. So you've been in many of the sessions so far. Uh, the most uh, key one, I think, was you were talking and introducing magic. Perhaps if you could introduce magic in maybe a whistle-stop briefing for, uh, for now. Right. Magic is a uh, nine-nation uh, multinational uh, research and development program project, uh, and we um, we are here to maximize the uh, military utility of uh, of um, RSR assets. And so, uh, how have you found it so far? Then it has been uh, brilliant, uh, and it is good to uh, to uh, have this type of event where we bring together the different stakeholders both from military and uh, our supporting organizations and, uh, and uh, industry. So you come to us fresh from a round table discussion. It was on uh, how Magic 2 is uh, driving organizational innovation. Perhaps if you could uh, tell us a bit more about what came out of that. Right. Um, first, I need to explain that um, we are not here for, for organ organizational change and organizational innovation. Uh, what we are doing, we are dealing with, with technology and also processes, operational processes. Uh, and uh, from a process technology organization perspective, what we try to institutionalize is the fact that we are looking at the process part first and then select technology. And um, if the outcome of that is, uh, is pointing to inefficiencies in the organization, well, then it is a kind of a, an indirect proposal for, for uh, the organization to, uh, to adapt. But uh, we are not here to, uh, to address the organization in itself. We are looking into the processes and by that uh, eventually um, uh, coming to organizational um, issues. So what have been the key challenges when it comes to trying to coordinate all the different nations coming in and being involved and trying to work on a single united project? The key challenge is to, uh, is to have a shared purpose and uh, understand why we are doing this. Um, without that, we will be doing what most initiatives do, addressing it from, from the what perspective. Uh, but if we, uh, the, 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 key, the key criteria for the magic success, the previous program, was the inspired leadership, the common purpose, the freedom to innovate, and also access to, uh, to knowledge uh, in nations and in NATO. So uh, generally then, um, what of the blockades been uh, when it comes to real interoperability? What have been the, the sticking points that you've had to get over? It is, um, it is a, a, a long, uh, long topic to, uh, to cover, but I, I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, the issues are um, the governance structure of how we bring about capabilities in nations and in NATO. Uh, it is not necessarily designed to deliver effect and outcome and change. It is uh, designed to, to just deliver technology, for the, mostly for the sake of technology itself. So how far along then is the Magic 2 program and where, where is it set to go in the future? We have demonstrated uh, already back four or five years ago the uh, potential of, um, of linking process and technology. Uh, we have even uh, try to uh, transition that into operation in, in Afghanistan. Now we are, we also understand the uh, limitations of uh, what we demonstrated and what we have transitioned to operation. Now we are trying to uh, adjust the underlying organization of that and the architecture to allow the concept to scale towards a larger enterprise. Okay, well thank you very much for speaking with us. It's been fascinating. I look forward to hearing more from you later. Thank you. Thank you for uh, organizing this event.